The following question reads that uh, the diagram shows the structure of 1,3-butadiene. Uh, so, there are two double bonds in this molecule. And the addition reaction between 1,3-butadiene and two molecules of uh, hydrogen bromide can produce three structural isomeric products. How many of these isomeric, uh, how many of these products have at least one chiral center? Now, the addition reaction of the HPR molecule is going to be with the double bonds. Uh, an H is going to get bonded to uh, this carbon and a Br would be bonded. So, it's H and Br, H and Br getting added. Uh, the positions could be different. Uh, the H might get added to this carbon atom, the Br might get added to this carbon atom or vice versa. So, we're going to try all the different uh, isomeric products. So, this over here is a simplified version of a butadiene molecule. I've uh, drawn them in a straight chain. Uh, the double bonds and this double bond, they're going to react. So, H is going to get bonded to this carbon atom. Br would be bonded to the next carbon atom. H would be bonded to this carbon atom. The Br would be bonded to this carbon atom. And the double bonds are going to be converted into single bonds. So, the double bonds would be gone. So, if, uh, I'm removing the double bonds. So, this is one molecule that is possible. Now, the other possibility is uh, that the H and the Br, this is the other molecule that I'm going to try, to try and draw the H and Br might switch positions. So, uh, let's remove the Br, remove the H. So, this over here is the second version of the molecule. Uh, H bonded to this carbon atom, Br bonded to this carbon atom, H and Br. So, that's this and there could be a third possibility as well where the third possible isomer would be. The third possible isomer that I can think of is that this H and Br might switch position. So, let's remove the H as well. Uh, the, the Br could be bonded to this carbon atom and the H could be bonded to this carbon atom. So, this could be the third version of the molecule of the product. So, these are the only possible structural isomers that we can come up with when HBr reacts. Now, going back to the question and reading the question again. Uh, the question states, how many of these products have at least one chiral centers? So, they've already told you that there were three structural isomeric products. So, we have figured that out. So, how many of these products have at least one chiral center? So, we're going to figure out uh, the chiral carbon atom. So, chiral carbon atom are those carbon atoms which are bonded to four different groups uh, and they form mirror images. Uh, they form two enantiomers. Uh, look at the first molecule. Uh, this carbon over here is going to be chiral. If you carefully look at this carbon, uh, all four sides of this molecule, there's a Br over here, an H over here, a CH3 group on this side. So, this carbon atom is going to be your chiral center. It's going to be a tetrahedral. Two different enantiomers would be formed around this carbon atom. Then if you look at this second molecule, you can't really figure out any chiral centers over here because this carbon is bonded to two hydrogens. This carbon is bonded to two hydrogens. This carbon is also bonded to two hydrogens. And this carbon is also bonded to two hydrogens. So, there is no carbon atom that is bonded to four different things or groups. Uh, let's look at the last uh, molecule that we have drawn and I think that this carbon atom is and remember we're only looking for one chiral center so this carbon atom is going to be chiral there's a CH3 there's an H a Br over here and this entire thing on the right side so this carbon atom is going to be a chiral uh, carbon atom uh, so two out of the three molecules this one is not going to be chiral so two out of the three molecules are going to be forming uh, or, or at least have one chiral center. So, C option C is going to be the correct answer for this question.